Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best investing money management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down kind of what's going on in the stock market. Now, there's been a lot of controversy over the past couple of days stating that the stock market is overvalued and we are due for a massive correction. We've had a ton of analysts come out and say, hey, the stock market's going to crash within the next three years months if you look at this article you guys can see that harry dent says the stock market is going to crash likely within the next three months now is this going to happen is this guy a master at what he's talking about well here's the thing no one at the end of the day knows but there is some key indications that really states when the stock market is due for a temporary correction right there's two different things a there's a crash which is when the stock market falls 20% in value this is what we saw in march of last year massive massive amounts of sell off right went from $344 all the way down to 218 before getting bought up now, another thing is there is a stock market correction. Now, stock market corrections on average happen about once every single year, which this is when the stock market sells off about 10%. So honestly, are we due for a correction? Yes, we are probably due for a correction. The reason why I say that is because if you look at this indicator right here, this represents the RSI, right? So this is the relative strength index. So you guys can see when it's over in this red zone, this is when we had overvalued and sell off, right? And then down in this green zone in here, this represents good buying pressure, okay? So ever since March, we've had this huge surge of buying pressure in the market and we haven't seen any sell-off yet which at the end of the day that's that's awesome because all of your investments are going up in value but the the thing that makes me a little worried is all of this right this represents overvalued points for the market which honestly should should make you a little bit worried if if you're more of a short-term investor but as a long-term investor you shouldn't worry now let's go to the year, yearly chart, not the day chart, the yearly chart so we can kind of see what's going on year to date. So if you guys look very, very close, you guys can see these purple lines, right? These purple lines represent trend lines, okay? So when they're below it right in here, they represent support. So this is when we get buying pressure enter in the market, right? So you guys can see this general trend line is when we have buying pressure, but another thing is there is another line right up here that represents resistance. So this is when we get and have tendencies to see sell off. Now look at this. It came right in contact with that trend line and now we have we've had massive sell off, not much, but about 2%, which at the end of the day that's virtually nothing. And that sell off could continue down to about 200 and or not 200 430 dollars now in my opinion that that's about buying stocks on a four percent discount which may not seem like like much but the s p 500 on average has that annual return of around 9.8 percent so that's pretty much buying that on a massive discount but carter how how can you time this market so you so you get these sell-offs right you you need to you you need to do dollar cost averaging so what this does what it is and what it does is it's pretty much if that's say you guys want to invest a thousand dollars in the s p 500 instead of putting up a thousand dollars all up front and having it be in one of these overvalued points right in in the market what you do is you pretty much just invest a hundred dollars a week over the next 10 weeks so what that does is it gets a good average price for that time period so the beauty of it is if the market continues to go up you make money but you, you when you do really well is when you have these dips and you can average down your your share size so when the stock market recovers your average price isn't way up in here, it's way down in here. This is a fantastic strategy for beginners and one that I would highly, highly recommend here. So that's kind of what's going on with the S&P 500. We just have a little bit of an overvalued point in the market, which does happen, right? The stock market goes up and down. 
Just as fast as you guys make money, you can lose it. Now, another thing is the S&P 500 is led by this. This is the largest company in it, Apple. And normally, when Apple is down, the S&P 500 does have a little bit of a harder time just because the S&P 500 is weighted by market cap. So this is pretty much the most, um, you know, this is where everyone is investing in is Apple because of how large the corporation is. So honestly, you, this is why we've seen some sell off in the S&P 500 is because companies like Apple, AMZN, uh, Amazon's down. We've had a variety of tech companies get absolutely slammed, which on, on the bright side, that brings more opportunity for us. But on the flip side, it brings temporary sell off, right? We had Hood today, um, Robin Hood gets squeezed up. They release some news, which is good about cryptocurrency. So I think there's a lot of opportunity right now in the market. And it's all about understanding risk tolerance. It's all about understanding that if you're a long term investor, these volatility swings aren't and shouldn't shake you out of a trade or an investment. So guys, that is it. At the end of the day, it's nothing to be worried about. If anything, relax, take a breath and buy more. You guys will be just fine as long as you guys have that long term outlook. So we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone.